From where he's standing across the street, Justice can see her. Mello Taylor, ex-girlfriend, slumped over beside her bends on the damp concrete of the farm-fresh parking lot. She's missing a shoe, and the contents of her purse are scattered around her like the guts of a pulled party popper. He knows she's stone drunk, but this is too much, even for her. Just shakes his head, remembering the judgment all over his best friend Manny's face as he left Manny's house not fifteen minutes ago. The walk symbol appears. As he approaches, she opens her eyes, and he waves and pulls his earbuds out just in time to hear her say, What the hell are you doing here? Justice asks himself the same question as he watches her try and fail to shift to her knees. She falls over sideways and hits her face against the car door. He drops down and reaches for her cheek, which is as red as the candy apple paint job. Damn, Mello, are you okay? She pushes his hand away. What do you care? Stung, Justice takes a deep breath. He cares a lot. Obviously. If he didn't, he wouldn't have walked a mile from Manny's house at three in the morning. Manny's of the opinion that Mello's the worst thing that ever happened to Jess, so of course he refused to give his boy a ride. All to keep his drunken disaster of an ex from driving. He should walk away right now. Justice should. But he doesn't. Jessa called me, he tells her. That skank. Don't be like that, babe. She only called me because she cares about you. Jessa had planned to take Mello home herself, but Mel threatened to call the cops and say she'd been kidnapped if Jessa didn't drop her at her car. Mello can be a little dramatic when she's drunk. I'm totally unfollowing her, she says. Case in point. In life and online, nosy bitch. Justice shakes his head again. I just came to make sure you get home okay. That's when it hits Justice that while he might succeed in getting Mello home, he has no idea how he'll get back. He closes his eyes as Manny's words ring through his head. This Captain save a thing is going to get you in trouble, dog. He looks Mello over. She's now sitting with her head leaned back against the car door, half asleep, mouth open. He sighs. Even drunk. Just can't deny Mello's the finest girl he's ever laid eyes, not to mention hands on. She starts to tilt, and Justice catches her by the shoulders to keep her from falling. She startles, looking at him wide-eyed, and Just can see everything about her that initially caught his attention. Mello's dad is this Hall of Fame NFL linebacker, big black dude, but her mom is from Norway. She got Mrs. Taylor's milky Norwegian complexion, wavy hair the color of honey, and amazing green eyes that are kind of purple around the edge. But she has really full lips, a small waist, crazy curvy hips, and probably the nicest butt Jess has ever seen in his life. That's part of his problem. He gets too tripped up by how beautiful she is. He never would have dreamed a girl as fine as her would be into him. Now he's got the urge to kiss her, even though her eyes are red and her hair is a mess and she smells like vodka and cigarettes and weed. But when he goes to push her hair out of her face, she shoves his hand away again. Don't touch me, Justice. She starts shifting her stuff around on the ground. Lipstick, Kleenex, tampons, one of those circular thingies with the makeup in one half and a mirror in the other. A flask. Ugh, where are my keys? Justice spots them in front of the back tire and snatches them up. You're not driving, Mello. Give him. She swipes with the keys, but falls into his arms instead. Justice props her against the car again and gathers the rest of her stuff to put it back in her bag, which is large enough to hold a week's worth of groceries. What is it with girls and purses the size of duffel bags? He unlocks the car, tosses the bag on the floor of the back seat, and tries to get Mello up off the ground. Then everything goes really wrong, really fast. First, she throws up all over the hoodie Jess is wearing which belongs to Manny, who specifically said, don't come back here with throw up on my hoodie. Perfect. 